Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Ricky and I am not rolling out. I am flying to Spain. Check out this vlog. Good morning. Day three turned into day four and a new friend turned into a new city. Just ordered some food, but this isn't what I wanted to order. I must have incorrectly spoke Spanish. Typical. So I'm in Pamplona, I'm so excited, and I took the bus, so we went out for dinner last night, 9.15, stayed out until 1 a.m. when my bus left, and then I took two trains in Madrid, two metros, to get to the bus station, and then took two buses to get here. Vanessa picked me up, which was so nice of her, in the morning at like 7 a.m. I slept until 11, and now I'm going to eat and walk around the city. She's finishing up some homework and classes, and then we're going to walk around, and she's going to give me a little bit of a tour of the city she's been living in the last couple months. I'm so excited. Round two, I got what I wanted because I pointed. Hopefully it's good. I just got off the phone with my grandma and she brought me to tears, which has been the first cry in a while, but a good cry. She reminds me what my focus is, and my focus is to be an ambassador to Christ everywhere I go. We read together Romans 15, which is where Paul mentioned Spain. I think it's the only time Spain is mentioned in the Bible. And it's, he's talking to the Romans about how he's going to stop in Rome on his way to do missions in Spain, which is awesome. Uh, also, where I am right now in Pamplona, it's, there, it's an old city with walls surrounding it, kind of like Jerusalem. And then as the city has grown, the city is now expanded outside of the walls. But it's just cool, the history here. I think these walls are from 1540. So Jerusalem's got that beat. But equally is cool to have, not well, I shouldn't say equally. Obviously, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. But very cool to have the old city walls here. I am loving Pamplona, but it's very, very different than Madrid seems to be definitely smaller obviously it's not the capital city even though i believe it is the capital of the northern province one of the northern provinces maybe and much smaller and it seems to be older a lot of these walls uh and buildings seem narrower and more historic which i'm really liking i love these streets i'll have to get some footage of them but i'm really enjoying my day had some good food and gonna keep walking around and looking at these old city walls. Wow, these walls are built like Jerusalem. This behind me is France Gate. I'm at Portal de San Nicolas and a park and a garden and so I'm just walking around so many beautiful fall colors still which is great thank you Spain for turning up with the fall colors in the middle of November I'm loving Pamplona so many beautiful places to walk around great cities what I'm currently experiencing is the nap hour for two hours everything closes so I was walking around these streets and all the shops and restaurants are closed. I'm waiting for this famous bakery to open in like an hour and a half. And I am still full from that really good quiche potato thing. But also I really want a pastry. So I'm waiting and I can't wait. It's a famous bakery that people come to Pamplona just to get these pastries. And then I'm gonna go to a museum. So doing good. I wanted to explain how I tour a city because again, I had great success in Pamplona. I've only been walking around for about five hours. I've done 15,000 steps. I stopped two different times to eat and talk to people. So it's not like I've been crazy going everywhere, but I had a list of about 15 things I wanted to see. And I just checked and I've actually gone by every single one of them by just walking around, following the crowds, going down busy streets. 
and going where it looks cool. So I'm feeling really good about that. Pamplona is smaller, so I did basically see it in just a few hours. I went a little crazy with the treats and got like six things. Look at that cake and the cookie, oh my goodness. This is an apricot cake, I think, with like a whipped cream filling and it is the most delicious thing, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I might have mistaken. This little pastry with the white chocolate in the middle is the most delicious thing. Oh wow, the chocolate one, mmm, the most delicious thing. I wasn't going to eat the cookie because the cookie's literally the size of my head and I just ate five treats. But then I tasted the cookie and the cookie is the most delicious thing. I had to pull myself away from that cookie, but I know that I should not continue to eat it given the situation of all the pastries I just ate. I think I might need to go to that bakery again. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm on a sugar high. Frick. That was so good. I'm so glad I don't live here because I'd be there every single day. And it seems like they're always rotating. Oh my goodness, that cake. I think, I don't know what those little croissant things are called with the chocolate and the white chocolate. I did decide I like the milk chocolate better. Wow, they were so, they were both so delicious. And then the cookie, the cookie has pistachios and almost cranberries in it. Sorry that the thing I'm getting most excited for is the pastries, but I mean, come on, Spain, you're doing excellent. By the way, the name of the bakery is Beatrice. So Pamplona Beatrice. Okay, just leaving the museum, and I loved it. Even though I couldn't read anything because it's all in Spanish, I just loved it. I think that Spain does a really good job of taking care of their artifacts and has really great museums. I've loved the palace, the art museum, this, and then, oh, and then I also went to that Temple of Debode, which they had taken such good care of that. That was the Egyptian temple. I've been to Egypt, and the Museum of Cairo is kind of, you know, messy and this they really do a great job everything is really nice and organized and the people that are there that tell you not to take pictures they're really working hard which is too bad because i don't have any footage but i got to see it all and it was great i'm gonna walk around a little bit more maybe go to one more museum <laughs> Just leaving Iglesia San Nicolas. Man, I love the Catholic Church. So much reverence for God. One thing that hit me was the man who is working here with the keys. He's carrying around, he's walking, going to each door to unlock. Every time he passes, the middle where Jesus is on the cross, he kind of like bows or whatever. And just to take that moment of reverence to what the Lord has done on the cross for us. Thank you, Lord. That's a beautiful church, Iglesia de San Santorino. I was curious to ask two different people and they both gave me the same answer. Who the heck is in the center of the church? They have that big, you know, golden thing with normally Jesus on the cross in the center in a Catholic church. But it was actually the man who gave the money to build the church 500 years ago or whatever. And they basically are glorifying him as an idol in right in the middle of the church. I thought that was completely strange. Yeah, but it was a beautiful church. Currently in the Sivox Conde stable and the architecture is pretty cool. I think it's like an art museum. There was no map in English, so I'm just gonna wander around. I do think you can take photos in this museum though. I just opened this door, which I have a feeling is not allowed, and I'm on this balcony in the middle of the city.
that was the Palacio reel slash Archivo reel. <laughs> yes, my Spanish is terrible. I did a lot today. I think why it seems so crazy is because I had walked all of this earlier when everyone was taking their nap and now everything's open so I went back and it was great. Que te quiero sentir, sabe que me muero por ti, y que tú te mueres por mí, así que... I have seen the city during the day, and now I've seen the city during the night, and now it's time for tapas. Big one, el productor de oro. 